Good afternoon, good afternoon. How's everybody doing? What's up, Coco? See you there. How's it going? How's it going? I gotta hit uh, the buttons. Gotta hit the buttons. Boom. Boom. Boom, boom. What's up, Pineapple? What's up, Phil? How's it going? How's your afternoons? Hopefully you're having good ones. I'm a little late. That's okay. Had a hard time hitting the button today. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Pedro? How's it going? All right. Do -do -do. Everything working? Everything working. <laughs> yeah, got a little bit yeeted. And then I yeeted myself a few more times. For the lulls. For the lulls. Yeah, it is almost Friday. Eh? It's nice. Oh, waiting on Tesla. Oh, God. What could possibly go wrong with their stock next? What could possibly go wrong there, Phil? FTB interactions. FTB interactions. Where were we? Where were we? This is a thing. This is a thing. That's a thing. I think we were at the zombie villager, right? Yeah, the Zen summoning. Is this where we were at? We're, we're summoning the things, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're kind of at that point, right? Oh man, I can't. I can't keep track. Um, I think that's where we were. I think that's where we were. I got too many things always on my brain. All right. So, I think we were at that point. So, what do we do? What do we do? How do we do it? Okay, let's do this, let's do that, and, oh, let's check on our bait traps, actually. Let's do that. You are empty. You are all chicken. Where's the beef, man? Where's the beef? No beef. No beef. Okay, so I think... I think... I think a lot of things... Too many things sometimes, I think. Um, I think we need better farms. Confirm or deny, chat. Do we need better farms? I think we need better farms. I think we need better strainers. I think we need better farms. Hmm, I think that's the way. I, I do think that's the way. Okay. What are we going to do? How are we going to build it? Uh, let's find out. Uh, ba -ba -do. We have EMC. Let's go to EMC. And let's build. Let's build some stuff. Better farm's always a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Typically. Typically. Let's... Let's get a few building blocks. Sure. Right? And let's build a thing. <laughs> you start with it, Pineapple Princess. You start with it. I wish I could give credit where it was due, but it's not. Alright, so what I'm thinking... Uh, let's just do this. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Okay. Cool. Do a little bit of this. Do a little bit of that. Making it pretty. Making it pretty. And... Are we going to go three wide? Not really. <laughs> it's 
that's like the grindiest, slowest thing. Um, yeah, we'll just go one wide this way. So your typical farm, nine by nine, right? Nine by nine. So one, two, three, four, good. And then, of course, this will be one bigger because all of that will be inside of there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Beautiful. Should I, like... I probably shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> With stuff on my bar. But that's fine. Alright, let's at least put some stuff away. I can't put stuff away. That's why I have stuff on my bar. Um... Can you hear the uh, mowers? I can hear the mowers. The mowers. Oh, the cataplant. Oh, the cataplant. What's up, Chaos? How's it going? How's everybody doing today? I'm late. Ooh. How did I do that? Seriously, how did I even do that? I don't even know. Boom, 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 boom. How do you place a block below another block? From above it. Beats me. Beats me, man. Alright, it's probably really dark for you guys. I apologize. But I'm making the start of some farms. Right? Pretty straightforward. I'll get some torches. Wasn't that Quark adds it? Yeah, but how do you do it? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Good. And then that goes like this. How do you actually do it, though? Anyways, whatever. Whatever. Whatever game. Alright, cool. Cool, cool. Oh, are we just by placing it too far down or whatever, or too far up? No. Ah, anyways. It's fine. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out later. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, we need... We need torches. How do you make torches again? Torch or light. Is there any other light that we can make? Uh, early on? Can we do stone? It's bark, right? I think it was bark. Bark and sticks. Oh, it's the brackets? I gotcha. I was just thinking of that chaos. Maybe I can go get my uh, death loot, you know, without water. <laughs> okay, so when it's a brackets. So how do I get the bracket? It seems a little finicky. So how do you get the bracket? Is it like... You almost have to be off the block. Uh, 
Okay, so you almost have to be off the block for it to work, right? So you're just below the block. And then it goes underneath. Okay, cool. Learn something new. Learn something new. You don't actually need to shift either. It is there. It's just, yeah. Anyways, cool. Cool stuff. Um, we need dirt. Boom. Just a wee bit of dirt. All right. Here's our first farm. All right. Boom, boom, boom. The cool thing about this is with that technology that we just found, um, I think we can use that to our advantage. Right? So right in the middle here, we need a block. Oh, it's got to be one over than that. Well, it's fine. Right? There we go. We got ourselves a block. We're good to go. So you can get down one block pretty easily. Okay. Yeah, it lets you stare down pretty easily too. You can just stare down to the void. I could go get my stuff, guys. Not that I need it, but I could go get it. I could go get my lunchbox back. All that food? Ooh. Go get my food back, you know? From my cataplant experience. Okay. Interesting. I was curious as to what would be that. Alright, good. Let's get some water. Ice. Ice, ice, baby. Boom. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Beautiful. Okay, so all of this will be nicely hydrationed, like so. I know who's really going to be really excited. Citharian is going to be very excited that I'm building a farm. Very excited. Probably wheat to begin with, or cotton. Wheat or cotton, chat, you guys decide. I think we need both equally as much, so. Um, oh yeah, oh. Man, the lag that I get when I shift click these tools is crazy. 50-50, you think we go, we do a split? I think we split it up evenly. Wow, that wore out quick. That wore out very quick. Thinking 50-50, hey? It's probably not a bad idea. Beautiful. Okay. So nicely hydrated, all set up. I think, yeah, let's do the 50-50 for now. Why not? Right? Should we do rows? Or should we do clusters? Rows or clusters? Ooh, that's a tough one. Do you all believe in the whole concept that if you plant in a row... It grows faster. Is that a thing? Is that an actual legitimate thing? What do you think? Do you think it grows faster if you just leave it as a row and then you plant another row of something beside it? I don't know. I can't say I've ever tested it. Can't say I've ever tested it. I guess we'll wait for all of these to grow and then call it. And then we gotta set up another one for rice. Oops.
Cotton. Cotton. And cotton. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful rice, chamomile, etc., etc. Alright. Should we do rose? Oh, man. I don't know. I'm conflicted. I'm conflicted if we should do rose or not. Alright. And then, boom, out there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And, uh, wait. One, two, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, nine and ten. Good. Yeah, eleven is basically the number we're looking for there. And then one, two, three, four. Boom. Torch goes right there. Good. All right. I think I'm going to do, let's do rows. Why not? We'll do rows. I made the ultimate decision. I've decided. Hopefully you all like it. There we go. Cotton. Good. Let's get... I don't think I'm going to do more... Um, cotton yet. I'm going to wait until I get my... I'm going to do strainers uh, set up a little bit better. Uh, here and then we can add to the farm as we go. I think that'll be beneficial. Well, rip those lotus seeds. Nice. Okay. Okay. Uh, we need that. We need that still. Uh, we're going to need a lot of those actually. A lot of flints. We're going to be doing a lot of farming here to start things off. Um, whether that's good or bad. I don't know. The next one's going to be, I think, rice and... Can you plant chamomile? And then we got to set up like a melon, pumpkin, something or other as well. Yeah, I need a variety of food. Exactly. We're going... You guys, we're going big. Now, how big? So I know that one of the goals is to get to the overworld, right? at this stage of the game, right? We got to get to the overworld. How big should I invest in my infrastructure here compared to I'll be moving to another place, right? And again, I've never played, so I'm just trying to think ahead a little bit where, you know, what is the best course of action when it comes to upgrading things you know like am i going to be able to freely move back and forth between these and is it still beneficial for me as a player to invest in the sky world here like if i build huge farms like massive farms right now is that worth it You have no help? I tell you. I tell you. No help, eh? <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine. I, I have no clue either, so that's why I'm asking the questions. You know, like, will I be able to freely move back and forth, or is this just something that gets abandoned and you kind of have to start fresh, right? Well, I know it's always worth overdoing. You've only made it this far? That's my biggest quandary right now, right? Is like, I was kind of hoping that the skyblock portion of this wouldn't be too cumbersome, but it appears to be like you got to do some investment, which is fine. Um, how much of an investment is kind of what I'm trying to figure out. You never played this pack either, Phil? No? You know what I want to see as a Minecraft mod is the just the ability to replace a block with another block like they have in Terraria. Now, just any block can quickly replace it with another block. 
problem solved. That's it's gonna take some getting used to. It's nice, but it's gonna take some getting used to. Yeah, I just don't know how much we have to do here, right? All things considered, you know. And I know the pack only gets harder. So, I mean, is there something like Ender Chess? Nope. And there's all the Tinker stuff. Yeah, so there's not like Ender Chess. So interdimensional blah, blah, blah might be complicated. And it's a Greg Tech pack, so it's gonna, probably going to be very complicated. Oops, I forgot the ice. I forgot the ice. Yeah, there's vanilla ender chest, but that's about it. Exactly. Ender chest mod is what I was thinking. Okay. I do sometimes have a problem going big or going home type thing, so hopefully this is for the beneficial. Mm -hmm. Do that, and then we can come down here with the next set. Cotton definitely growing faster than uh, than yield wheat over here. Yeah, this is working pretty good. This is working good. I like it. Um, let's get our rice planted down over there. And like I said, can you plant chamomile? I don't know. Or is it just like a flower that you get from straining? You've just been most... Have you mostly been playing... Um, you can. Okay, good. Have you mostly just been playing vanilla? Uh, pineapple Princess? Or just not Minecraft? Oh, this is looking good. I like it. You might want to get out your bouncy root. What bouncy root? The Cataplant? This one? I'm thinking about starting to use those to... I kind of think that I want to get um, some more of those and use them for traveling. Like, I don't even know. Okay, this one can be used as green dye. That's cool. Mystical green petals. It can also be used as a plant ball. I think, though, this Indian hellebore is pretty bad. <laughs> um... Oh, Narslimus. Interesting. And you can also use it for the plant ball. Mm. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. No, that makes sense. That's a tough uh, transition for sure. Okay, put those away. Um, what do we got? We have other stuff. We do have other stuff. Okay, let's grab all the rice seeds first. There we go. We got three. Nice. Nice. Three rice seeds. We can break these as well. They've barely grown, so that's fine. 
I'm sure I probably could have copied them with that silly copy mechanic. But, yeah. And then, let's get a little bit more chamomile. By the way, if you can hear the lawnmowers outside. It's a thing. It's a thing. I think I'm going to break these as well. We can throw those into seeds. Probably finish up this whole cotton line now. And then we never have to worry about it, hopefully, ever again. Case in point. Boom. Cotton seed. Nice. Okay, so cotton is completed at this point in time. And we're getting... A lot more of it than even the wheat it's growing faster for some strange reason makes no sense but it's growing we do need a variety of foods so we're gonna get more farms soon um, soon enough okay chamomile nice we got some here that's good and Nothing here. Oh, we got another apple seed, though. I'm going to plant that guy as well. Just because we might as well get that one growing. I don't know if the rustic apple tree makes a difference or not. Okay. Good. Yeah, because I ate that last time, it's giving me less food, right? So what can I make with fish? Fish sticks? I could make fish sticks. Uh, I don't have seaweed. Can't make any of... I mean, fish sandwich... Mayo? Ceviche... Guardian Charm Fragment. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ground fish. I mean, seaweed would be nice. We could make mayo. We, we flat out could make mayo. I do have eggs, but I was kind of hoping that we could spawn chickens. But I don't think we can spawn chickens in this world, can we? Like, I don't think we can actually spawn chickens in this world. So maybe I make some mayo? What can we do with the melons? Other than juice. Is there anything? Not really. Nothing really else other than fruit jellies and melon juices melon smoothies actually we can get snow I think ground traps give eggs yes they do so we can actually get snow so I could make myself a smoothie instead uh, which I haven't eaten recently uh, we need more sticks Ooh, is that my apple tree what does it do differently? What does that do differently than a regular tree? Let's find out. Okay, we need that. We need that. So if I do that, that gives us snowballs. And then the snowballs with the melon, we can make a smoothie with the juicer. So, boom. Nice. Cool. Just another fruit drink, basically. A variant. There we go. We're going to need a whole chest just for foods. And we eat raw fish. Nice. Okay. 
Okay, uh, we do have all this other stuff, which is good. Um, we do have this stuff. Let's take that out. Let's put that away. Like so. Beautiful. Okay, I guess let's just go work on our setup over there a little bit further. And then let's build our next farm as well. So we're going to have rice. We're going to have chamomile. We have wheat. We have cotton. Um, then let's build our next one. So this one here, we go 11 blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Beautiful. to get used to that. What did I do there? I don't know. Anyways, a couple new uh, things that I gotta get used to there. Boom, boom, boom. good can you guys hear the lawnmower is pretty good by the way i'm actually just curious from my sound microphone setup i don't think i've ever tried streaming with them going it's gonna be good to know though and i apologize if you can but i'm just curious Turn up the music, you know, just drown them out. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Good. All right. So then here, we go like this, and that's going to be the way down. You don't hear, but you're not wearing headphones. Oh, that's fair. That's completely fair. Sometimes you can definitely hear more things... If your headphones, absolutely. Did we just complete this? What do I need? Four? Four more seeds? Complete that bad boy? Nice. Okay. That's a pretty mean looking farm right there. That's a pretty good looking farm, if I do say so myself. And now we have a ton of bait potential, right? Ton of bait potential. This one got me beef before. Let's try it again. So these are apple leaves. Do actual apples grow? Doesn't look like it. Maybe there's just a, maybe there's actually just a better chance of dropping apples from an apple tree. What's up, Todd? How's it going, man? Yeah, I know, right? What? I know. That's the glory of these afternoon sets or streams, right? Try to get. Try to get other people, um, you know, able to see stuff. You know, other than just me uploading the same stream onto the YouTubes. The YouTubes. All right. We can do melon pumpkins. That's pretty easy. Um, we got a lot of lotus, too. So we can do that up. We can get ourselves the um, cucumbers, pineapples, all that kind of stuff. What else did we get from this? Garlic, cucumber, lettuce, tomato, chili pepper. What can you do with all those? Hmm. How you doing, Todd? It's been a while. It's been a while. What did I determine I could use pumpkins for? There was something cool that I found. I mean, you could do salads. That's pretty easy. Uh, oh, yeah, it was stock, right? For meat stew. but Or just, like, stock in general. 
just working. Yeah. yeah, that's always fun. I did my did my work earlier today. Got the afternoon off. The others at 3 a.m. Yeah, yeah, you're not alone in that <laughs> in that avenue. All right, so we need to do garlic tomatoes, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So let's just grab these. How many do we have? Tomato, garlic, tomato, garlic. All right, good. And then we'll do lettuce, cucumber, chili pepper. Can we do all this in one farm? Do you guys think? Or should we do like separate farms almost? It's a decent amount of stuff. That's five different crops. We could probably do a row of each and it'd probably be enough, right? For now. I think if we do a row of each, we'd be okay. Yeah, I think so. Let's get ourselves some more blocks. Boom. White, black, dirt. Nice. Nice. Okay, and that one grew too. Excellent. Okay, and then we got to do this thing. Boom. The little place underneath button. Okay. There we go. Nice. Oh, I forgot the ice. I'm literally forgetting the ice every time. Every time. Every dang time. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Good. Good, good. Uh, oh, no. I need you still. Okay. That's nice. Um, but, but do we need ice? Always needing the ice. Man, the uh, the farm is looking pretty good though. I don't mind my choice of going with the rows. The rows are pretty good. The rows look pretty good. <laughs> uh, well, Todd, uh, quickly, you could probably see at least what caused the first one. There is a clip. I posted on Discord in the general. Um, I'm actually going to make a command of it as well uh, in, in here. I just haven't done it yet. But yeah, there's a good clip. Uh, here, I'll copy the link. Yeah, there we go. Thanks, Pineapple Princess. That's what caused the first one. And then I decided to have a little bit of fun with it. Plus frustrations with it. All at the same time. Um, with trying to land and experiment with it. To see if I couldn't land on my first death marker. What do I have for early game storage options in this thing? Okay, tomatoes, devil's fruit. By the way, I do not like fresh tomatoes. Okay, good. Chili peppers, beautiful. Cucumber, good. And lettuce. Uh, typically, you need a lot of lettuce, so we're going to do that. We're going to do that. Okay, nice. All right, we got all of that growing. Let's get ourselves a little bit of our first kind of major harvest, I guess, more than anything, from our farm. I don't know, the rows seem to be growing pretty quick, don't they? Or is it just because I have that much more growing at the same time? 
Do they actually grow faster in a row? I don't know. I do think that this is going to be a... Oh, you can't right-click the chamomile? That's too bad. Todd, thank you for following again. Unfollower you. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> for shame. No, I appreciate it. Thanks. I don't blame you for unfollowing a guy that wasn't streaming for a very, very, very long time. <laughs> oh, okay. I got you. Oh, you can't do that if you don't follow? I didn't know that. Oh. <laughs> oh, so you... Oh. A likely story. Unfollowed for two seconds. What a mean guy. What a mean, mean guy. <laughs> Alright. We got... We're going bait. We are getting some bait. Folks, here we go. This was what I originally kind of envisioned for this whole thing. Boom. 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 Nice. Okay, so we got a lot of bait in our stuff. We're good to go there. We've got ourselves all of that. We got ourselves all of that. We got ourselves some of that. Um, I think... Do we even... Like, Lotus is experience. And that's really about it. You know, time in a bottle. Okay, cool. Right? Otherwise, though... Okay, so we can use them down the road to make solidified experience. Airtight seal. We don't need them, though, that much, do we? I think the other thing we need is the pumpkin melon farm next. Right? And you know what? Let's go a little bit more crazy with this whole concept. Right? We're kind of going minorly crazy at the moment. Let's go bigger. Let's go a little bit bigger. So, what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six from there. Okay. Six from where again? One, three, four, five from the edge, right? Okay. So then, one, two, three, four, five, and six is the corner block. If I'm not mistaken. No mobs can spawn, so we're good, right? We don't really have a concern with mobs. So let's just keep on keeping on. And let's build some cool stuff. that this is looking good I like it I like it a lot it's looking pretty pretty darn nice and then this can be a tree farm right around the transmutation table and everything as well so we can change in leaves very quickly it's weird that there's no block placing sound when it goes underneath like that though you kind of expect a block place sound you placed a block Do 
the same outline, like so. Oh, very nice. Okay. Now, this is all vivid grass. I don't think I want vivid grass. I think I want regular. What is the advantage of vivid grass? Is there an advantage? Or is it just a thing? Right? Is it just a, a thing that looks better? Is that about it? Or is there actually an advantage? Nice, okay. How many tomatoes? Just one? Okay, garlic, I need all three. Okay. Farming's going good. What's up, Island Papa? How you doing? How you doing? Having a good day? Boom. Boom. I might need to put more light around here. They're not really getting much in the middle there. I might have to might have to clean that up a little bit. I only got one chamomile from that? Rip. Not bad, not bad. Playing video games, can't complain. Okay, we got that. We got that. Uh, we got some tomatoes, that's good. I should probably... Let's just do this quickly, and we'll make a chest. I need to start compart compartmentalizing things. Is there like drawers, barrels? Is there anything good for storage early on? I know there's iron chest, um, mod. Is that kind of the only good one early on here? I think that's like the only good one early on. I mean, modular storage, blah, 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 blah. Crates? Is that a thing? Oh, open crate. Craft crates. Those are all... Britannia, chisel, titanium crate, shadows of Greg, wooden crate, item slots 36, is that good? Common crate from Thomcraft, can't make. I don't know what all that is. <laughs> Probably just going to stick with chess for right now. <laughs> Call it a hunch. But probably just going to stick with the old chess. Nice. Got a pineapple. Oh, interesting. Okay. You cannot change the pineapple into seeds. Okay. It's good to know. Probably just chess for right now. I, I, oh, sorry. Sorry, pineapple princess. Um, I swear, no pineapples are injured during this stream. <laughs> um, I don't know don't really know what to say or tell you um it was delicious <laughs> it was delicious <laughs> might not might not be better um just 
going to say that. <laughs> it might, it might not be a better response, but uh, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. No big deal. I actually do love pineapple. Pineapple's right up there is one of my favorite fruits. Uh, very delicious stuff. I know that for some people it like bothers their stomachs, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, but not me. I love the stuff. Okay. So what I'm thinking here is we get some chess, right? Oh, I almost broke the pineapple. How would you feel about that one? Okay. So in here, there's our wheat, right? In here, we got cotton, right? There's the two things for the farm. Over here, we'll do, you know, like rice, for example. Uh, once we get it going and completed. And the chamomile, right? Boom and boom. Just like that. Okay, so that'll be the rice, and then we'll have a chamomile one. This is why it's kind of being like, hmm, I wonder if there's a, wonder if there's like a drawer or something. Because, yeah, kind of have that drawer idea or mentality in my mind. I think I'm going to change this all out to regular grass. Like, I think I'm going to change all of this to regular grass. For the tree farm. I don't know if we need vivid glass or anything. You know? I don't think so. Does it make a difference? I mean, I guess we can keep that middle one as it. Yeah, I think so. You ate pineapples every day when you lived in Hawaii? Probably. I'd probably do the same. Or drink them, you know? Something along those lines. I think that this is worth it. I really do. I think we're doing things that are going to be helpful later on. I hope... Like I said, I hope that this isn't like, oh, you go to the you go to the overworld and all of this is useless now. Congratulations for doing all that work. You know, I really hope that that's not the case. Rip rip torch. Yeah, I really hope that that's not the case. Okay. Anyways, let's finish this section up. I'll probably just make this all grass. Because grass is a lot prettier than dirt. And we do have grass seeds, so might as well use them. They're pretty easy to get. There we go. Good. Good. Chili peppers, tomatoes... Cucumbre. Plant some more cucumbre seeds. Very good. And then we'll have to get uh, a lot of chests for over there then, right? If I'm going to stick with the same MO, the same thought process, I think we'll need quite a bit over there. Um, yeah, we're going to need a decent amount. Should I make a Whopper Mark II and automate our wood? Probably should. It's not that bad, though. You can go back and forth still. Okay, so there is the potential for good things still here to be utilized as we go. I do love this little machine. It's a good one. It's a good one. Alright. Cool. 
Slot that guy down. This will be rice. That's good. Uh, we do need to start farming our chamomile. That's fully grown. Nice. Fully grown. Fully grown. Fully grown. Beautiful. Start on the second uh, line there. And then you can start on the final row of rice. Good stuff. All right. Boom, boom. Um, I'll farm some, some of that right away. Let's do this. I think we can probably do two chests. I don't know if I need a chest for each one of these. Because we didn't do, you know, full farms worth. So maybe we'll just split this one down the middle type scenario. Now, tomato, garlic, chili, peppers. What can we make with this stuff? No. What can we make with this stuff? So, cucumber, tomato, lettuce. We can make vegetarian lettuce wrap. That's nice. Um, we can make tomato soup. Okay, that's good. Um, uh, succotash, no. Uh, we don't have peppers, so we can't do stuffed peppers. We can make spring salads, which is good. Um, what else? What else can we do here? Um, boom, boom, boom. Chili peppers. Kind of curious on that one. Mixed salad. Okay, that's salad dressing. We can make ketchup. That's nice. Jambalaya. Ooh, good stuff right there. Jambalaya is some tasty, tasty stuff. Uh, garden soup as well. Okay. So we can do a couple of different soups and salads, it looks like. Um, we can also probably do subs. Footlongs. Is that what they're calling them? Okay, footlongs. So we can do footlongs out of, like, cooked chicken, cooked beef with the majority of this. I think the only catch there is the mayo, but with the new farms and everything, that might not be too big of an issue, right? We should be pretty good. And it's just standard bread. It's not toast, where we found that restriction last time. Deluxe cheeseburger. That requires toast. Okay. I mean, what does veggie bait get us? The same stuff? Is it all literally the same, same exact stuff? I think. Okay, chili peppers. Let's take a quick glance in there. Pepper jelly, okay. Hot sauce, good stuff right there. Extreme chili, we can probably make regular chili. But I think the main thing here, curry rice. We don't have this. I don't know if we can get it, but we'll find out. Crawfish, chili poppers. Those ones look pretty easy. And that's a three nutrient. Dairy, grain, and veggie. And cheese. I mean, I don't know how to get milk yet, but it's not too bad. We don't have beans, because if not, chili would be really easy. A chili donut? Chili cupcake? That sounds... Disgusting. Chili chocolate sounds good, though. Um, okay. Bacon wrapped chili. Well, that's a pretty easy one. Bacon wrapped chili. Ground trap with veggie bait. Okay, so we could do some veggie bait to get some raw pork. Or something like that. Okay, there we go. Got some lettuce. 
Okay, so we got ourselves a nice little setup here. I'm going to do this. Doesn't seem like we got much more for like apples out of that. And this doesn't have EMC, which is fine, but it's interesting. Okay, and then let's get some oak saplings. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and then we'll go here. Get our tree farm up and running a little bit better. Lotus is good. Get rid of this guy. Ooh, we're flying now. We're flying now, everybody. Look at us go. Away we go. Flying away. That's a nice harvest right there. Holy cow. 56 wheat. Just like that. That is good stuff. That is really, really nice. Okay. Let's get this guy going. We're doing a little bit of farming right now. You know, got to got to get our farming on a little bit. Okay, we got some rice coming. That's good. Um, let's just see. How much of this do we need? One, two, three, four, five. And then we're done with the rice. Seeds. Good. I could have probably just waited, but it's fine. We'll do that up. There we go. Rice is completed. Over here. We got some cucumbers. We got some other foods. I think we need one garlic. Is what we kind of need. To complete this guy out. Boom. Very nice. Okay. So we have the full rows of cucumber, tomatoes, chili, and garlic. And we're working on the lettuce. That's good stuff. It's really nice. Uh, we did load up our baits. Our bait traps. Um... Let's take some of our profits. Ooh, you are profitable. Okay. All right, we got some loot. We got some food and such, which is nice. We got a whole bunch of eggs. That's good. We got some feathers. Don't know what we're going to use those for at the moment, but I'm sure there's something. We can make a chicken catcher. <laughs> Not that that matters. Iron hippogriff armor. Hippogriffs? That sounds fun. Okay, next one up is probably our melon pumpkin situation, right? I think that's a good one to kind of explore. Yeah, I don't know. Probably never. Probably a long, long ways away from now, if I were to guess. I do think I want to make some veggie bait as well. Um, we'll see. After we get a few more harvests of stuff, uh, that would be pretty good. 
let's though, in the meantime, build out our melon farm, which I'm kind of debating just being right here, but I think I'm going to go out this way a little bit further for now. It's getting dark out here, though. It's getting extra spooky. Five, right? So that's one, two, three, four. Boom. That should be our torch. Torch. Oh, yeah, I needed to address the middle section as well. Um, how do we want to do that? Can we just do this? No? How do I want to do that? <laughs> Especially at night time. Especially at night time, Todd. It's dark. Yeah, it's dark. When you when I go out into the dark, it's dark. Without a torch or anything, it's dark. I think I might just do this at the crosses as well. Because it's pretty dark in these corners. That'll help a little bit. But the big thing here is I think I need... We need to do something with lighting. Yeah, just kind of placing it down. I don't want to ruin my crops, but I might have to. I mean, you can just use a full block, right? It doesn't have to be a slab. Um, but I might have to destroy a crop beside it for me to do it. Right, because of that. It does not like that whole thought process. But we can do this pretty easily. And then just hoe that one back. It's one and a half. Okay. Of the torches. Feels bad, man. It'll definitely help, though. Absolutely. So, I need more bark. Then. What do you mean, bark? Which... Don't I need the hatchet for that? Or can I get it some other way? What is this? Wood club. Is there another way to get bark? Or can I smelt? No, because this gives me the low grade. Let's just take a look at torches again for a quick sec. So, regular coal. Good. Bark, obviously, is a thing. Phosphorus, rose and tar. Charcoal. Ash. Don't think there's really a way to get charcoal for us at the moment. So I think we need bark. My question is, though, can we do it with this? No, we cannot. Okay. So we do need to get ourselves the hatchet. Uh, to kind of do... That whole choppy choppy thing. I mean, it's not complicated to make, but it is a little bit annoying. Is that not it? Hello? Oh, it's beside it? Mm. 
Hello? Oh, is it actually stone? Oh, it's stone. Okay. Anyways. Anyways. Where were we? torches and rip my food just like that holy cow where did it all go oh yeah the chopping of the bar like getting bark just destroys your food bar how am i going to avoid that in the future because that's pretty bad like that's a lot of it wasn't even the um vein mine thing is literally just chopping the wood that destroys your food bar uh not that i could see i mean obviously a diamond axe can do it but <laughs> we're yeah do you get the coke oven easily? Which one? <laughs> okay, so you can do item burning to get this. To get the coke oven bricks. But do you need anything other than that to get coal coke going? Do you need this? Multi-block structure used for turning coal into coal coke. Ignite, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so I think you need this, which requires iron. Good, we'll do that. Um, that one's been eaten lately. We have not eaten a bit of duck lately. Um, now this one's not been eaten recently. Which means now that one has been, but this one has not. So we can do that. And then we should be able to... Eat the apple. And then we can eat another piece of bread. And go full circle, basically. There we go. We're full. We're full. A little bit complicated to get there, but we're full. Okay. Get this guy done. Good. We're slowly but surely moving and migrating our farms over, which is great. Um, let's keep building this one for the melon pumpkins. So that's four. And then, yeah, five out. Good. Two, three, four, five. Good. And... Connect those up. Place down the torch. Just for visibility. Alright. Cool. Now, for these guys. Um, so the lunchbox <laughs> is on my dead body. I got one. 
but it's on my dead body now. So what I'm thinking here is... We go like this. Like so. Then we can do this one here. It's not going to be the most efficient thing in the game. This farm, but it's going to work. Because there's going to be shared spacing. I don't know that I really care... Um, the angel block is there, yeah. I, I do, the angel block is in my chest, I believe. I don't know though for sure. <laughs> uh, you can say that. You can say that. <laughs> we had a bit of fun. <laughs> we had a bit of fun uh, with that one and here here's the clip of that I gotta make that a command for uh, for people to use that was only the first one and then we kind of went through this whole thing of like okay cool you fell into the void. Let's see if we can't land on it and get our stuff back. And then I had a little bit of fun. Yeah, oh, I'm, yeah, I'm well aware that I can recover. It's just, eh, we just kept going, you know. It's one of those things, more so than anything else. So, just kind of kept going otherwise. Okay, boom, back to where we were. We were lighting up the middle here. Like so. Good. Good. Okay. Beautiful. Alright, so all of this now, all of this rice is just for us to have now. We've maxed out our rice farm. For now. And now we just have rice storage, which is good. The chamomile we are still working on. Let's just look to maximize our resources. We might have to look into getting some of the gardens going. Just to diversify our food offerings. Right? Honestly, it wasn't that bad. It was... Yesterday was a frustrating day for me, period, for some reason. Um, but yeah. It wasn't that bad. I just had no clue that that's what would happen with that thing. <laughs> Which is pretty funny. I Honestly, though, I probably should have just restarted. Because uh, I think we were only like an hour in. So, you know, it hurt more that we were so early into the game than it did anything else. So, okay. Um, we need you, and you, okay, um, no, no, okay, well, that's fine, we'll do this, we'll do that, we'll place this guy back, there we go, and let's go get some ice, By the way, if you are new here, do make sure that you slap that follow button. Um, really greatly appreciate it. You know, the continued support, conversation, all that kind of stuff. I love, love all this stuff. So um, anything that you guys can provide and, and give for that type of stuff, especially free stuff like, uh, like the following. That's a nice, easy one. Um, yeah, appreciate it. rip another hoe all right we'll do melons here i guess let's go get our melons and pumpkin seeds melon seed pumpkin seed 
Melon seed, pumpkin seed. Very good. Excellent. Let's grab this guy. And this guy. And this guy. More seeds. Um, let's grab our melons and our pumpkins and a chest for them. We can break that guy now, which is good. We're slowly but surely cleaning up our starter area, which is really, really nice. We'll throw that down. So we'll just do... Is it better to alternate them? Oh yeah, that's fine. Good job. You gotta do your thing. It's just a reminder more than anything else. Uh, boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna alternate these. Why the heck not? Let's have some fun. So that's melon. So let's go pumpkin, melon, pumpkin, melon, pumpkin, melon. We're gonna need a lot more of you. Okay, so that was melon, right? Pumpkin, melon, pumpkin. Beautiful. Okay. Um, we need a little bit more of you. Boom. And we need another uh, flint hoe. We need another flint hoe. Again, I really do hope that not all of this is a waste of my time. <laughs> Setting up all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. Alright, so what do we got? We got melons. So, pumpkin, pumpkin, melon, pumpkin, melon. Pumpkin, melon, pumpkin, melon. Just having some fun. Mixing things up a little bit. Awesome. Okay. Boom and boom. That will go into that chest. There's our pumpkin melon farm. We got our wheat farm up and running. Very nice. We got our cotton farm. We got rice. We got chamomile. Uh, which is, seems to be growing pretty quickly. All things considered. I don't know if we really need a lot of chamomile. Um... But I planted it anyways. Oh, really? We're one short? No, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> All right, beautiful. Got ourselves our chamomile now. Nope, oh, not there. There. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, later, maybe. I'm not too sure, though. I'm sure that there is stuff like that, but it's a Greg Tick Pack, right? So it's going to be gonna be a while it's a this is a long pack all right let's get their food going boom 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 throwing our lettuce that's nice we can actually start to see you know some the start of like some actual good stuff here so that's good um i'm going to get a little bit of string i want to do some veggie bait up in our bait traps um just to see let's get a little bit of pork you know just diversify up our our uh bait offerings if you know what i mean Because uh, then you can keep your farms in Skywalk after you move. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of my... That's what I hope, anyways. Right? Oh. You can't use chili pepper for vegetate? Why not? Are we considering that a non-vegetable? Is, is that what's going on here? Is that what's happening? interesting okay apparently that's apparently chili peppers i i mean i know they're fruit um but you would think that you would at least get fruit bait then okay throw down these guys back in there all right next step that i would like to do is 
Extreme voltage, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's the way it goes, Booger Bomb. How's it going, man? Look what I did, Booger Bomb. You want to see? Want to see? Want to see pretty things? I know that you were very adamant about this the other day. I did something. I did something. Are you ready for it? I don't think you're ready for it. I don't think you're ready for it. I don't think you're ready for it. Nope. Definitely not ready for it. Farms. Farms. Look at that. Look at that. We got tree farms. We got other farms. Oh, look at all the loot. Nine by nine farms. Yeah. Beautiful, isn't it? Isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> it's a thing of beauty right there. Thing of beauty. Okay, and boom. Good. Do this. Kind of have a nice big entryway here. I don't know what I'm doing yet in this region. But yeah, actual farms. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Ah, good pork. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Candleberry. I haven't even undone... Uh, we haven't done a single quest yet today, so... Um, we need to do a pineapple farm. That's the thing that we need. Um... Coffee? Coffee and pineapple farms? Thank you, Pajama. Really do appreciate that. Cheapest early game lighting. Um, oh, maybe, yeah. I haven't even looked at the candleberry yet. We should, yeah, candles, right? Yeah. Yeah, getting that pressed wax going is, well, I gotta unlock, I gotta get the candleberry seed. <laughs> Coffee and pineapple farms. Sounds like true love. <laughs> no kidding, eh? Does sound like a good one. I don't know if I'm going to invest heavily in lotus farms or not. I haven't really decided on that one yet. Alright. Cleaning things up. Alright, sounds good, Boo Bro. No problem. Coffee, pineapple. Pineapple. Ooh, we gotta do canola, too. We're gonna do canola. The canola's farm. Nice. Ah. There we go. All the wheat's gone. Yeah, they take a bit of progression. Yeah, I mean, we've... We're, we're pretty... We're almost there, right? I can see it right there. I just gotta get the uh, rubber tree, which is alchemical array, which I can already do. Right? All things considered. We can already do that. I think. Yeah. Uh, I'll be able to get that pretty quick too. So we're, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're also at the zombie villager section here too. So I gotta figure out how to... I've never done that zen summoning, so... Hmm. Okay. No, you're good, Pajama. I like conversation. I'm a... I love conversation, so bring it on. No problem. Um, you would recommend Lotus? Okay. So we'll do more then. <laughs> we'll have to do more. Uh, let's get some more building blocks. And uh, we got a decent amount of dirt on us still. One of the things I wanted to do was this as well. Oh boy. Oh boy. That, uh, that, uh, spicy, spicy weed whacker out there. <laughs> so, yeah, this is one of the things I did want to do, where we kind of come over. I want to put, basically, a crafting table at each one of these. So, if I need to craft, more or less, 
you know, on the fly in specific areas, we just have more access to all of that. Um, was something I was thinking as well. Uh, that way I'm not always running back to the exact same crafting table over and over and over again. Uh, I have the flexibility of kind of branching out. This is my first time playing this one. But we are on like a Dev 5 version or something like that. Uh, I don't know if it's like a beta version or only a version available to me. Um, but yeah, so we are a ways... We are on a new release anyways. Or new potential release, I should say. A beta release. And that's part of my uh, FTB ties that I have. Uh, being a beta tester for ages. You know, since Infinity Evolved Expert. All that kind of stuff. Okay, let's do... Oh, we're out of torches again? <sighs> okay. Yeah, we'll definitely have to look into that uh, Candleberry pretty darn soon. I think I'll need to go that route. Getting bark is a pain. So. Getting bark is a pain. Okay, more dirt. And then, yeah, we need to get some of those gardens, too. Those gardens will give us more uh, access to other food crops. Oh, I forgot the ice. I always forget ice. Always forget ice. I should honestly just make a stack of it and put it in my inventory, but I also know that I don't need that much ice. <laughs> okay, boom. Break. That'll be for the torch later. Once I get one. Very nice. Okay. Good. So this one will be pineapple and coffee. I don't know if we even truly need coffee beans. It's just another food source, right? And it's not even a good one. Do we even need to plant coffee? I mean, I love coffee. I mean, that's a pretty easy... food source? I mean, it's not much though, right? That's only... That's barely anything. I don't even know if we need coffee, guys. Makes me a little sad. What does this do? Oh. Okay, so you can add milk to your coffee in the coffee maker. You can add sugar to your coffee. You can add magma cream to your coffee. When did they add all of this? That's pretty cool, actually. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it is not fantastic. Oh, God. Yeah. I don't think I need coffee. As sad as it makes me sound, I don't think I need it right now. You know, it might be something in the near future that we need. But... You know, and even like pineapple, I don't know how much pineapple we need, all things considered. Um, there's a few things. Pineapple ham could be good, but it requires a cherry. Pina colada. Can you put rum in that? <laughs> ham and pineapple pizza. Beet burger. You know, I don't need a lot of this, either way. Yeah, coffee does have magical powers. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to do two, no, I'm going to do just one row of pineapple. I'll start a row of coffee, right? 
So we'll, we'll do a little bit here, okay? We'll do a little bit of this, but not like a full farm, if you know what I mean. So we'll do, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. We can put those away. What else do we have for crops? So we could start the canola. Canola is going to be a bit bigger, I assume. So let's do some canola and maybe we'll do lotus on the same kind of branch. We might as well, right? Let's do them all in the same little area for now. And then we can go from there. Yes. I did uh, I did hear about the the bee, which is awesome. Really looking forward to that. Canola is a power source, yes. So that one I'll probably plant the majority of the farm in is canola. Okay, let's take out that. Do we need boom boom boom? Any of this? I don't think so. I think we're good. Yeah, I just need wood. And we need a chest. And we need a chest. Good coffee is delicious. So are pineapples. Um, but neither of them really seem to have a huge use. Uh, early on, at least. In the pack. So, just one of those things. Okay. Good. We'll throw down a chest. There we go. Pineapple. Lotus. We'll go... Oh, I forgot the flint. Ugh. So forgetful. So forgetful. All right. I'm going to make, I think, two. I think we've got to make two hoes. To finish this one off. But yeah, this is this is nice. All these farms, this is going to be very helpful, I think. For the food situation, for all the baits. I might go pretty heavy into the ground traps, even. Because, um, yeah. It doesn't power things directly, but use it to... Ref yeah, exactly. Refine oil. Okay, good. And then these two will do lotus for these three rows. Or maybe we'll alternate. Um, maybe we'll alternate with the canola. Yeah, we'll alternate with the canola. Might as well stay consistent with what we've been doing. Okay, good. Okay, nice. So we'll have lotus flower, we'll have canola, we'll have pineapple, we'll have coffee. Um, doing all that stuff, which is good. Let's get ourselves a little harvest going. Good. Get some of these foods. Get all this going. We're gonna need a lot of cotton, so. And wheat. At least they have right click farming. <laughs> At least there's right click farming, am I right? Could be looking at vanilla farming. Could be looking at vanilla farming. All right, boom, good. There we go. And down here, we'll do the same thing. I guess the chamomile is kind of like vanilla farming, right? Not letting me uh, right click on that. I guess because it doesn't drop a seed, right? Oops.
We farmers. Oh yeah. That's good stuff right there. Look at all this look at all this loot. This is good. This is really good. Not a lot of chamomile out of that though. Not gonna lie. Uh, these guys still take a bit. Those guys will take a bit. We just planted them. Um, yeah, yeah, it's feeling pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's get ourselves uh, a few flint shears. And let's go tackle our trees over here. These even have, are they all oak? Okay, they're all oak. Good. Good, good, good. Rip. Rip those two. Ripperoni. All right. The apple saplings didn't really seem to do much more than a standard oak sapling from Rustic, so I'm not sure if it's really all that required. But getting all of that done is a nice little bit of BMC. Now, do we want to grow a different tree type at this point in time? What does a wisdom sapling look like? I mean, we could look at getting ourselves... Mm, let's see... Do we just want to jump into, like, we could do some dark oak. Start farming up a little bit of that. What gives you a ton of leaves? Jungle spruce gives a ton of leaves. Spruce is a lot of leaves. We could do spruce. I don't know what the swamp oak is like for leaves. Is that just the one with the vines, basically? Are they very productive? Okay. Yeah, like a 2x2 two two spruce gives a ton of leaves. That's a lot of EMC. Now, I mean, do we really need all of that? I don't know. Right? I'm just trying to think, like, is there something that we need for later on? Design-wise, you know? That type of conversation? Yeah, I'm not, I don't know. Like, I didn't see any apples growing, so maybe I just didn't give it long enough um, in my setup. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So we got our farms. Let's take a quick look at our baits. We put veggie bait in there. Nice, we're getting like mutton. We're getting pork. Okay, that's a pretty good variety of food, which is good. I don't think mineral was an option, no. I don't remember seeing it. My next thought process is... Um, I do have some low grade. Let's do up another four kilns. While we have the ability to do so. So, uh, these guys will leave. And one, two... Three, four, good. Low grade ash, excellent. We'll just put these away. Let's get eight of the sticks. Good. We'll just do this quickly and we'll go boom, 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 and boom. Nice. Okay. And then in the meantime, we can kind of sort of encapsulate this a little bit. Let's just see what we're looking at here for blocks. Let's 
I'm doing things right for a change, Booger Bomb. Doing things somewhat right for a change. Okay, so we can go like this. We can kind of encapsulate all of that, which is nice. Um, do that. And then, yeah, whatever we're going to put in the middle of these things. Which, for right now, we'll just put some more dirt. Right? We can convert all this to grass if we want. Um, but for right now, this will work. Like so. Awesome. Okay. Good. Good, you good. Yes, it is. Which makes it really fun to build over the void. <laughs> By the way. Okay, we got farms, we got kilns, we got this alchemic condenser. Is it questing time? Or... No. No, it's not. I wanted to get strainer bases up and running. Again. What do we need out of them, though? Right? What do I... Do I actually need to get them up and running? Do we need more from strainer bases? We might need more clay. Right? We might need more of the clay... Uh, stuff. That's really about it. Right? I think. Anyways, let's... Let's take a look at this alchemical array. Right? Blood magic. It's been a while since I've done this. Which one is the one that you put in first? Is it the sapling or the slime ball in this regards? Like I said, it's just been a while since I've done it. Um, so we have our ashes. That's good. We have a rice right here. I think it's just one, right? Is it not just one? Yeah, just one. Oh, but it's 250. Okay. There we go. One slime ball. Good. Good. We can do that. Excellent. Uh, go left to right. Okay, perfect. Excellent. So, in that regard, it's slime ball into oak sapling. Perfect. So, let's get ourselves an oak sapling. We got a rice ball, and we got our arcane ashes. Do I need anything else? I don't think so, right? So we just click on that, and then we go boom, and boom, work in progress. Nice. Nice. <laughs> whip. Whip, 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 whip. There we go. Got it. <laughs> whip, 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 whip. <laughs> All right, stone gears. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, is conveyors. Okay, one of the earliest automation is conveyors. Interesting that that's a thing. Uh, so the next one is tallow, right? Tallow is done in the al alchemy array again with sticky resin and low covalence dust. So that tells me that I need to plant this rubber tree sapling somewhere. Where am I going to plant it? Let's actually plant it up here. Whip, 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 whip. Yep, still a little whip. Let's just do this. Now, is this... How do you get the resin? Is it straight up chopping it down? Sticky resin. Straight up rubber wood with some water. And your hammer. Okay. Okay. Um, these I probably want. That was close. Okay, you also get some just from chopping it down. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, that was, that was close. That was close. <laughs> that was close. All right. Um, so this, boom, into there with this with a new one of those
Was that not what it was? Am I crazy? I'm crazy. Cavill. Oh, it's this. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's the whip. We gotta do the whip. Low covalence. Sticky resin. Whip, 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 whip. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Nice. Okay. Tallow. Quest complete. Beautiful iron candles. Awesome. Now we need to get our candleberry seed. Candleberry seed, same thing. It is the alchemy array, which canola seeds on the tallow. Okay. So let's go see if our canola has grown. Looks like we do have some canola. No, we do not. Can confirm. No canola. And we used all the seeds. Rip. We got these beautiful candles, though. We'll definitely have to utilize that. Um, we should pro I'm guessing we're going to need a lot of this resin. Um, we should probably find a home for that. And none of this is EMCable, of course. Why would it be? Why would it be? Why would it be? Okay. Let's see. Do we have more bones? Let's get all of this. Throw it away. And by throwing it away, I mean putting it away. Oh, you get venison too. Okay, so this gave a large array of food. Is that it? Yeah, I figured as much. I figured as much. Okay, boom. We'll put in what we have. Okay, so we have pork, mutton, and venison. Now, pork was one of the ones that I found something good that we could make for food. I think it was pork wrap chili. Chili wrap pork. Something like that. Pretty easy one that we can do as soon as I find it. Breaded pork chops pretty easy too. Yeah, breaded pork chops not bad. Batter is a bit of a pain, but bacon and eggs, that's an easy one. All things considered. Uh, where is it? What? Oh, do, do I have to cook it? I might have to cook it. I mean, you could do bacon jerky as well. Can you coke oven it? Yeah, okay. Was it cooked pork chop? Might have been. Yeah. Bacon wrapped chili. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible food wise. Why would I do Like bacon pancakes at least, you know? Okay, why is a bacon wrap date two, bacon wrap chili one? Terrible. Terrible stuff. Okay, so that's not good at all. That's not good. Um, was there something else that was good? I mean, baked ham's nice. That's pretty easy. Bacon and eggs is pretty good. Can we? We can't actually spawn. Um. Yeah, exactly, Buro. Bacon pancakes. Noise. Um. Batter. Again, batter is just bacon and eggs. So why would you do that when that gets you more and it's cheaper? Um. Boom, boom. I don't have beans yet. Don't have the ability to make toast. Don't have the ability to make chocolate. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, that was all cooked. Yeah, bacon and eggs. What else can we do? Chicken, flour, cheese. Again, same as bacon and eggs. Why would I not just do bacon and eggs? Black pepper. That one's not bad. That one's not bad. Corn dog. Again, not as good as bacon and eggs. 
I guess it does use two things though, right? Honey soy ribs. Ooh, Ooh those look good. Those look good. Hot dog. We could just straight up do hot dogs. That saves us from using an egg. That gives us grain and protein. Whereas this is just protein. Yeah. Yeah, that's... That's pretty good. Right? Boom. That's... That's a pretty nice thing right there. That's a pretty easy food. Okay, so we have that. We can make ourselves more... Uh, what is it? Meat stew or something like that? I haven't eaten stock yet, so I might as well just... That's fine. We'll eat it. Um... Okay, very good. Venison? Can we do anything good with venison? I mean, if we get some ginger, maybe? Or some spices, we can make some venison sausage. Meaty stew is one of the other good ones. It's like flour stock and any type of meat, right? So this one's a pretty pretty easy one. It's grain and protein as well. Bibimbap. And then fruits. Uh, I haven't eaten this lately, so we can eat that next. We can do our melon smoothie next. Um, yeah, pretty good stuff. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think we're just going to fill this in so that we don't have a repeat of almost losing stuff off of there, including maybe myself. Okay, good. Where did my axe go? Did I use up my axe? Must have. Huh. Didn't even notice. Okay, alchemy array on tallow, right? Tallow, alchemy array, canola seeds. That's what we were doing. We were doing the canola seeds. And then I do think we need more clay. I don't know if there's really another way to get more clay early on other than the strainer base. So that's probably our best avenue. Yeah, yeah. So we'll probably have to get one of those up and running. 85%. Dang it. Dang it, man. Dang it. All right. Um, how do you get bone meal again? Oh, yeah. I need to do this. Boom, boom. There's a bone meal. Okay. Had to remember. I need to make the healing salve as well. Uh, you made the full cooking with Blockhead's Kitchen? I believe it. Whenever you have, like, spice of life stuff, it's pretty much a must-have. Okay. All right. There's a full expansion of canola seeds. I'm going to keep the one that I have. And we can use bone meal uh, other places as well. So we go alchemy array. We go canola seeds into tallow, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Canola. Tallow. Whip, 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 uh, It should honestly make that noise. Whip, 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 whip. As it's spinning. I think that'd be funny. And candleberry seed. Very good. Awesome. Now we get the rustic bee, which is nice. And then we can make ourselves white candles, which gives us a smart chicken. Okay. Okay. This guy, what do we do with the bee? Do, can we make a hive? Because <laughs> it's rustic, right? What do you put them in? What do you put the bee in uh, for rustic? It's been a while since I've used rustic pot barrel. 
a rustic apiary. You're a DMCA. Okay. Just wooden planks. That's pretty easy. Okay. Wood and planks. Hey, thank you for backing up. Really do appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, we'll do one more. Mostly wood, but it's fine. Okay, boom, boom. We got wood and planks to make ourselves an apiary. Very good. Very nice. Uh, sure, we'll keep all that on us. Now, I think I want an apiary. What's the range on this thing? What is the range on this B? Does it tell me here? You can press candleberries into wax for hardened blah, 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 blah. Yeah, this is the one that speeds up things, I think. Even though it doesn't say that. But what's the range? Put it in the center of the farms. And will this give me more bees? Like, you get more bees from it, right? So my thought process is... I think I'm going to build the candleberry farm. Right? And put it in that. For now. One apiary per plant. Oh, so it only benefits one plant? Oh, God. My big debate, Booger Bomb, like, early on, and now that I actually have people in chat that have played the pack, because we were all kind of sitting here going, like, well, we've never played the pack, um, was, like, is all of this a waste, right? Because we're going to be in the overworld at some point in time, and, do, you know... Can you come back and forth and, and do all of that? I didn't really know. So, I hope that it's not a complete waste, if you know what I mean. And Booger is very wrong. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah? Okay. Ah, Booger just likes to play the way Booger likes to play. <laughs> But yeah, the big thing there is, yeah, just like, uh, is it something that, like, was this worth my time, right? Was kind of the debate. So do you, okay, they do light. They block you, though. There we go. Beautiful. Look at those beautiful candles. Um, and people do... Okay. Both are viable. That's good. That's good. That was my only concern, really. Right? Is like, oh, am I going to be, you know, just wasting all of this time and then I have to rebuild it, you know? As long as you can go back and forth pretty easily, I think it's valid either way. You know, why didn't they just include infinite water sources? If you can just EMC ice. I don't know. You know what I mean? Just a thought. Okay, so if I go there and I put the apiary here. Right? And I go B in there. Something like that. We gotta go get our hoe. Oh, can you? Okay, from waters and rivers. Okay, that's fair then. 
I'll need another hoe. At least. And candleberries. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm aware that things will probably have to get redesigned or, you know, I'll need more of this or less of that and, and all that kind of stuff. I just didn't want to be like, oh, let's go make all these awesome, you know, this awesome base and whatever. And then it's just absolutely useless. Yeah, yeah, that's cool, for sure. Okay. Boom, let's put this stuff up here. Alright. Alright. Can I make this? Yeah, I can make that. you get random seeds even from this? Rustic, maybe. Maybe I can't make this. <laughs> Can I please get a dandelion? Please? There's some. Yay! We did it. Good enough. Get some flurs. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, what's that? You wanted a dandelion. I see how it is. Yes. Yes, well, you don't get that. All right, a bowl requires a knife. Okay. We can make a knife. Like so. Flint knife. Uh, nope. It's a plank, isn't it? <laughs> bowl. Dandelion. Poppy, seed, healing self. Oh, well, I think I just wasted a lot of that. Waste. Waste. I could, yeah, but I can just plant more. I'm not too concerned, right? I don't think I need rustic tomato seeds. I don't know why I would when you have the other ones. Is there an advantage? Okay, so... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's why I planted the chamomile and such. We'll, we'll, I'm not too concerned. I can bone meal it again. Um, I thought about it for like a brief second, and then I was like, eh, oh well. It happens. Alright, um... I don't care. Get out of here. Okay. Okay. We did get a quest completed. Um, bacon pancakes are a band-aid. Bacon pancakes and a band-aid. Very nice. 
I have no clue what those do. Um, but food is good. I like food. Um, yeah, we do have the angel block here, which is nice. Um, ba -ba we'll just put that in there for right now. A band-aid. Use that to make a med kit later on. Okay. Do I even need the quest book? Not really. Like, it's literally just taking up a inventory slot. Eh, I guess there is recipes for it. I guess we'll keep it for now. We'll keep it for now. Um, I don't. I don't know what to get rid of here. We'll just do that for now. It's a little bit ugly, but it'll be fine. All right. Uh, let's go get some more lotus blossoms. Can we make these into seeds? Oh, no, that's right. It's an alchemy array to make them into seeds, uh, which is fine. Maybe we can deal with that later. But for right now, we will leave them like so. Canola seed. Canola seeds. Beautiful. Uh, let's go take a look at our candleberries. Ooh, this is almost fully grown. That's nice. Ugh. That's fine. I wonder if I wonder what's better, those plant balls or just literally bone meal. I guess bone meal is a bit of a pain because it does use a tool uh, to craft it. Let's get some chamomile. Chamomile. Can you make chamomile tea? And it like chills you out. You get like extra chill. You get, like, all of a sudden jazz music starts playing or something, you know? And not like that crazy jazz, but like that chill jazz, you know? <laughs> I know, right? Mm. I got, I got balls. I got balls. Okay, so let's try this again. No cataplant. But what I'm going to do is there's a 66%er here. Nice. got a very good range yeah i thought it was just like around the little area that's more useful than i anticipated <laughs> yeah it's a bit more useful than i anticipated yeah yeah i'm really glad that uh that i planted the chamomile now Get some ice. How are my bees doing? Good question. No clue. I got distracted. Why is that not? Oh, we don't have it off on our mallet. I hate the durability on these things. That's one of the things that I absolutely hate. Boom, boom, boom. We have 10 bees. 
What? Holy cow. Bees doing real good. Bees are doing fantabulous. Not bad. So, is it the more... Like, do you want max bees in there? And that's what's going to help it grow? Or is it more of a... You don't need max bees. One is enough, you know? Alright, we need a little bit more than that. Let's just do the full amount. Getting pretty close. Right? Do you get advancements because you get more bees or not? So you get bees wax from that, which gives you... Okay, the nice candles. All right, that's cool. Um, what else can you do with it? You can dry it into honey. You can crush it into honey. We can make regen potions. What the heck is a cohosh? I don't even know what that is. But yeah, basically drying rack is what it looks like into honey, which will be probably our most advantageous thing for right now. Cohosh is a plant. Sure. I have no clue. <laughs> looks like a plant. Sounds like a plant. Might just be a plant. Alright. Three more? Is that it? And I'm done the whole field? Beautiful. Alright. So we have Candleberry. We've got a decent amount of Candleberry, all things considered. Now we need to make the wax and stuff like that. Um... So it's easier candles, right? So I believe it's with a pot. Pressed wax. Now pressed wax, we need to make hardened leather and candles. Now I believe there's a couple of quests for hardened leather as well. So leather vest, leather tunic I should say, requires hardened leather. Okay, which is that with leather pretty straightforward the other one you do get four back so you spend nine no eight you get half back that's not bad then the hot or not the mitts also require one which i can make these actually let's make the mitts i think the mitts are more important than me getting a leather tunic call it a hunch actually i could technically just do both though can't I I can just do both sure we'll just do both that's fine so this like that with shears is that not what it is oh cutters I need cutters now all right what is a cutter cutter Wood cutters, stone cutters. Is it just any rock with sticks and a string? I just do. Oh, is it actual stone? Can I just do wood then? I don't really care. I assume wood's fine. Leather tunic. Good. Excellent. Now uh, we can wear it. Might as well. Good. And let's get our four back. That's nice. And then this is woven cotton, which is just string. And a ball of the slimes. Pretty straightforward. 
I can make booties too. Ooh, booties. All right, and then the press wax with string flat out just gives you candles, which is pretty darn awesome. So like that, with that, boom, white candle. Another quest complete. We can go put these around now and, you know, replace torches where we need to, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Easy free light. Yeah, hardened leather is always fun. All right. Okay, we need a piece of rice. Boom. And I think we have everything that we need now. So this guy in there gives us a slime ball. We need the woven blah, blah, blah. I think I need three more of them. I already have one. And then this goes regular crafting to make the mitts. Okay. Boom. Mitts. Got it. Sweet. No more bark. Exactly. No more bark. What do you mean bark is by? Yeah. And we got a smart chicken egg. Whatever that means. We're going to put that away before we forget it. Uh, wear an offhand to avoid bad effects. Sounds like a good plan. Uh, I'm going to put that away. I'm going to put that away. Actually, no, I'm going to put that away. Um, I don't need the hatchet anymore then, right? But we might as well keep the pot on us at all times. Because we're going to need it. How are we doing on nutrition? We are so low on dairy and vegetable. We are so low on dairy. Can I even get dairy at this point in time? I mean... Is there a way for me to actually get dairy right now? I don't know that there is. I gotta make those gardens, right? Vegetables, no big deal. Vegetables, no big deal. We can get we can get the vegetables up. I'm not concerned about that one. But the dairy, I'm a little concerned. Could Zen summon? Okay. Uh, smart chicken, I believe, is chicken breeding. I'm going to assume that it's the start of it. Um, I don't know for sure, though. Canola seeds. Canola seeds. Canola seeds. And canola seeds. Alright, we'll get a whole bunch of canola. Get ourselves some more coffee. Pineapples. Alright. Good stuff. Look at all the look at all the beautiful loot we got going. That is so nice. Farms. Who would have thought they're useful? Who would have thought they're useful? Not, not me. Do we think crops grow faster this way? In rows? I heard a rumor that they do. And it's like a vanilla mechanic that was hidden for years. Get a big grass area and let cows spawn. They don't actually spawn in. Um, part of this pack, you don't get any um, bad guys spawning. You also don't get any passive mob spawns. Uh, so, yeah. It's a good idea, even, Mike, but not in this pack. You have to make it to the overworld for that. It was tested and they did. Yeah, I think you have to get, like, all of the mobs and everything through Zen Summoning. I'm just going to do a little bit of a uh, quick uh, harvest here. Um, get some get some things. I think I'm going to make a whole bunch more apiaries as well. And we're going to 
move them around. Right? Start putting an apiary at each one of these 9x9s. Um, just to kind of get them going. Do these stop you? No. Okay. Just the iron ones. Yeah, there's a note anyways in the quest book that said no passives and no hostile mobs can spawn. Alright. So, basically, I can do this. Boom. Nothing but pressed wax. Now, pressed wax, in general, is basically only used for candles and ashes. Now, the candle bear itself... That's pretty much its only use. So, for this, let's get ourselves a little bit of wood. Uh, you would think that they do only because of the way the algorithm for block and ticks work. Yeah, I think that was kind of the math behind it anyways, right? Was, uh... People kind of finally figured out that, hey, we have this algorithm thing that uh, does something different. Oh, I wanted a chest as well. Beautiful. For the candleberry loot. Uh, you do. It's not complicated, though, all things considered. Um, it is not a complicated uh, thing to do it. I'm just being lazy, and I haven't done it yet, more than anything else. Okay, good. Let's get a little bit of shrink. I need a... I do wish we had access to drawers. I do wish we had access to drawers. Okay, boom, boom. Nice. Okay, there's our candles. Very, very good. I'll throw down a candle there. I'm probably going to remove all of these. They're pretty. They're nice. Um, but I don't like that you can't walk through them. They'll be good for design later on. Okay, and then we'll say, okay, we need string next, right? So let's do this. Can I place this down? No, it's going to be a pain. Okay. Okay, good. That'll give us the wheat. That'll give us that. Um... We can do a candle on top, like so. I want a candle on top over here. Boom. And then I assume I can just do this. Pretty straightforward. And go like this. And that'll help pollinate all of these as well. And then we'll put the... We'll put the pressed wax in there. So this, I actually... Is there any crafting tables that'll hold inventory spots at this stage of the game? Other than, you know, like for regular crafting? guess. Uh, yeah, until you have mana. Okay. Yeah, I was just kind of wondering, like, it'd be kind of nice to be able to store that pot exclusively in that 
spot forever, you know? And leave it in the crafting thing, and then you're good to go. You know, as soon as you get candleberries, you could go over harvest, you get your candleberries, and you're done, right? Away you go. It's just a thought process. Okay, we should probably get our ground traps running again. I could build a kitchen. I don't have iron. Don't you need iron to build the kitchen? Cooking. Don't you need it for, like, yeah, like, oh, okay, I can make that. We don't, I can make paper. We can make books. But don't you need... I mean, this requires iron. That requires iron. I don't have lava yet for the oven either, so... Anyways, second pot, just for us to have, uh, for crafting here. Look at our beautiful little place. I love it. I love it. Um, what does fruit bait get us? Fruit bait. Okay, so fruit bait will get us, like, rabbits. Chicken and duck. A lot of that we don't need, though. So, let's just get ourselves some more uh, veggie bait. I really don't think I needed all this wheat, but... If anything, I need more cotton. I might remove some of this wheat. For cotton. Yeah, because we don't really need... Hmm? Uh, not a lot. I already got it. It was 8,000? What did we complete? We completed a quest? Where? Oh. Okay. those guys going yeah I might need to um, I'm just wondering if I if I need all that wheat period uh, in general so I think my goal right now is let's look at the gardens because um, what's one that we would want which one has the tofu drops like which one of these gives the most of what we want. I'm guessing it's shaded, soggy, or windy. Those all require an apple of restoration. Which is a bit of a pain. That's a lot of apples. A lot of apples. dust a lot of that too oof oof it's a bit of a pain that's a bit of a pain
Yeah, I definitely want to duplicate them. Actually, we don't need this stuff either. It's EMCable, so it's really easy to just kind of dump it. Okay, uh, we need covalence dust, which is tiny charcoal, sand, and infinity dust. Okay, we need more of the. Actually, is sand just purchasable, or is it only farmable? No, we can literally just buy sand. Okay. Good. Don't have to worry about the survivalist things. So we can just easily do that. Okay. That's good. Um, we need the flint on the thing. Right here. Good. And we need these guys. Is that enough? Now we need another saw. Now we need more flint. I hate getting flint. I haven't done it yet, nope. I have 23,000 though. Yeah, 4,000 was obsidian. So far, that's the biggest thing that I've found. Okay, we need stone rods. I'm getting to the point here where I'm literally getting sick and tired of crafting these tools. And we might start just spamming them. But I'm sure we're going to get better ones soon. At least hope so. I at least hope so. I mean, it's okay for like the first couple of times. And then it's like, okay, I'm done with you game. Alright, cool. Um, oh. more glass bottles. Uh, we had to keep going in and out of the table to change the tools. Oh boy. Oof. 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 That's the only thing that you can say about that. We're going to have a ton of honeycombs. Like, a ton of honeycombs. That is crazy levels of honeycombs. It is time to expand on the bees. So this will be... Oh, I bet. I bet. Well, that's a positive change then, now isn't it? Boom, boom. Two more apiaries. Very good. And away we go. Um, What's the next ones? My melons just straight up aren't growing over there. Oh, you can't, uh, can't right-click on the candles, eh? Okay. Good to know. Good to know. And boom, and boom. Very nice. More bees. Okay, let's do this one. 
I just do this? Yes. All the bees. All the bees everywhere. All the bees. Okay. Good. Do that. Uh, we got to get more glass shards. Get some glass going here. This will get us the bottles that we require. Sure. Sure. Alright, and then in here, we need the elixir of instant health? No. That's not what Is that what we're looking for? Because we need to make these. Yeah, so we need the elixir of instant health. So we need the beef. We need the beef. Need the beef. Okay, good. All right, you go up there. You go there, you go there. Or vice versa. Is that right? No, it's chamomile, it's not apples. One, two. And we'll just put one of you? I think it's more than one. I think it's more than one. Is it one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I bet. Those shards are a little bit of a pain. Okay. More of that. That's good. That'll get us closer with this stuff. Okay, two more of those. That's nice. Okay, so this one is for curing our zombie. These two here, we will be using for gardens of some sort. So, which gardens do we want? Which gardens are the most fruitful, chat? You guys decide. Shaded, frost, soggy... Tropical or windy? Those are the real questions here. Those are the real questions. I kind of want to use some of this stuff up. Okay, I can put you there. That's fine. No idea. No idea. Feels bad. Well, let's get... I think a windy one is pretty good, if I remember correctly. You're not sure either? Hmm. Let's do... Windy and shaded? We'll do the two oaks. Let's do the two oaks first. Okay? So we'll do a dark oak and a regular oak, right? That'll be our first two. What does tropical get you? I think we already have a lot of the tropical, like melons and stuff like that. Okay, we need to make plant balls though, and lots of them as well. So let's get some more ice going. Is there a better way that I can do this? Yes, there is. Okay. Good. I will need another eight of you. Fuel going. 
good. I will need fuel. We need the glass bottle, though. Are we opposed to checking? No, we're not opposed to anything. If you guys want, go for it. Can these, like, not grow on cobble? Does this have to be dirt? Can... Are melons and such not grow on here? I'm, I'm guessing that's the case. I did not know that that was the case. Is that the case in vanilla? No. Right? Maybe it is. <laughs> Am I making up new rules to Minecraft at this point? I just ha thought it had to be a solid full block. Maybe I'm making stuff up. I might be making stuff up. More glass bottles. I'll throw those in there. Alright. We'll do fuel and oak. In the meantime, we'll do plant balls. Uh, let's get one more fuel just in case. It looks like we're good though. It looks like we have a lot of fuel. Okay, and then boom. That one. Let's do this. Get a little bit more water in there. Yeah, we're good on fuel. Okay. I have a lot of the windy stuff. Do I? Okay. Shaded. Okay. So we got shaded. We got windy. Nice. Um... And we got the plant balls. I want to convert this to this. And we're going to go up here. <laughs> and do that. Okay. And then I want to... Ah, oh, seven days is going awesome. No, no, absolutely, Drajan. No, we're we're here for conversation, man. Bring it on, bring it on. I love, I'm loving Seven Days. Seven Days is awesome. Alpha Nineteen is amazing. I highly recommend uh, playing if you haven't. Um, checking out the stream that'll be later tonight, which is probably going to be more Seven Days. So, um, it's not dirt, grass, rock from from official Minecraft wiki. Okay. What's up, Baradine? How's it going? I think at this point, any of the gardens are helpful. Yeah, just open up more food options. That's exactly my thought, too. Let's do this. So I do this, and then I do that. Nice. Okay. And then you can shift-click these. That's good. I wanted to be certain of that. And make sure that you can kind of expand upon it a little bit. Good. Okay. Very, very nice. We'll put one back in the inventory. And then we can do the same with the windy here. Ooh, four. So it seems to do two to four at this point in time. Because that shaded one, we got a lot of threes. This one, we got two fours and a two. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Is it out for Alpha 19 yet, Drajan? Because that's probably a route that we will be going soon. I don't think it's out on... Okay, and then we break however many we want to. Always keeping one available. Oh, that sucks, Baradine. That sucks. Yeah, it messed up a lot of plans that a lot of people had. 
just in general. So it sucks though. You know, you don't want to see that. Yeah, I don't think it's out for 19 yet. Which, when it does come out, ooh, that'll be nice. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's just do this quickly. Let's get a chest. I want to just do a chest for all the food related stuff. Yeah, I didn't play Darkness Falls um, in in 18, um, but I did want to, and it was highly recommended to me, but uh, I never ended up playing it. Okay, we'll just do this. Okay, we got a jute. We got rhubarb, sweet potato, garlic, and tomato we already have. Turnip. Oh, we got beans. Nice. Tea leaf, mushrooms, leeks. Spice leaf. Okay, spice leaf's good too. Scallions. Those are all good. Those are all really, really good things. Okay, we did already have the tomato and the garlic though. Oh yeah, okay. Alright, and then let's break these guys. <laughs> I love killing the zombies. I love killing the zombies. Uh, it's an indirect effect. You live in the Netherlands for now in the situation. It's true. Netherlands, uh, Netherlands is doing pretty good stuff. I believe we're actually even modeling um, some of our reopening plans here in Canada, which we've been pretty good too. Um, after, like, I think our school's opening are going to be modeled after, you know, Netherlands and Denmark. So, so that's cool. That's cool. I guess. Wow, I'm still a little, uh, torn on the whole school stuff. Okay, we already have cucumber, winter squash, amaranth, corn, elderberry, flax. Flax is another string source. Yeah. Ooh, potatoes and bell peppers. Okay, that was really fortuitous. We got a lot of good things from those. I think we need to get some of the other ones. Yeah, school's out here too, but they are planning on sending them back in fall, so. Okay. Hmm. That's some nice stuff. We gotta build more farms. We gotta build more farms now. Okay, but the gardens I also want to keep um, more or less separate here too. So some of the items that I want to keep for like repopulation of things. So we'll do another chest. And I'll just put it here. So these will be the the items that we always want to have like repopulating never never losing right the rest of it is kind of like and eh, not a big deal right we can we can farm it easily um we do need additional apples of restoration which means we addition need additional apples in general i'm a little curious can we make the apple sapling? We can. From Pam's Harvest Craft. Okay. That's probably the best avenue to go with. <laughs> Whenever you see a single vanilla chest. Yeah. You actually don't gain anything in space. It's the same. But yes. I, I know what you mean. But like... These are set up for a reason, right? I mean, we can expand on it in the future. Uh, but, yeah, for right now, there's no need to expand on it yet, right? But as we go, absolutely, right? So,
Yeah, it's more like a minimizing our cost situation at the moment. Okay. These do not uh, work. Okay. So we need dirt there. Uh, simple as that. Oh, chili peppers. All right. Uh, we need dirt for that, apparently. And I need to make another pickaxe. <laughs> Um, you know, it's interesting. I've never really noticed, to be honest, that I do that. I've never really noticed that I make a lot of single chests. Hmm. I like compartmentalizing things a little bit at times. You know, where you... You just... There's a reason for it. Now, yes, I would agree. Most packs, it's not really a big deal. They're pretty cost effective to kind of just slap down another one um this one's a little bit more expensive though so you know but yeah I, I can understand where you're coming from I mean there's a lot of people so a double chest here's a question for you a double chest placed in a single chest fashion does that bug you because that's like almost every vanilla efficient storage system, right? With redstone and everything. They don't stack them double, right? So like, um, the way that you look at a double chest Right, so a lot of people, so like this right here, right? This right here is pretty much how you make an efficient vanilla storage system. You'd have rows upon rows of chests that look exactly like this. Does that bother, bug you? Or is it just literally the fact that I can store more stuff? Which is weird, by the way, Drajen. I'm gonna say that's a little weird. I'm going to say it's a little weird. <laughs> I'm just going to flat out say it. It's a little weird, man. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I understand from a storage perspective, right? Pretty easy. Just slap down an extra one, get additional storage. I get it. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. I haven't eaten any of these. So I'm going to eat all of these separately. Streamers are rising. Rising viewers. Get some of our vegetables up. Might as well. Uh, let's jump over here. Let's eat a pineapple. We'll just eat some simple stuff uh, this go around. Just because. All right. Apples. Think apples. I need three. I would like to get an apple tree. And you gave me nothing. You give me nothing, game. You give me nothing. You are dead to me. Really? This is the tree. Yeah, there we go. See, I knew it. That one had apples written all over it. Oh, okay. Okay, that's the thing. All right, boom, boom, boom. Um, boop, 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 boop. Yeah, I know, yeah. Um, I need more axinated. Axination. Oops, I need more sticks. I put away all my sticks. Ah, sticks. Very nice. Oh, no. Don't you do that.
Oh, very nice. Okay. Good. 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 Nothing. Yeah, I kind of have a big, uh, big thing. You're an anti-axer. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. You know, we're doing the uh, stream thing. Um, it's pretty good. I definitely want to play some other games. I really want to play Satisfactory and Raft. Those are two that I'm like... Yes, I really want to play these. Um, oh God, let me out. Um, yeah, just want to do a lot of different things. You know, there's a lot of a lot of little details. Um, there's a lot of things that I haven't played or that I've put off that I've really wanted to play for quite some time. So, kind of debating some of that stuff and when I can fit it in. Um, as well. Nice. Okay. There's my third apple. And there goes another axe. Okay. Anyways. Um, but yeah, those two games are definitely on my radar to play. Um, really have been wanting to play them. And yeah. Doing good though. A lot of seven days. A lot, of, a lot of video games lately, which is nice. Um, work's a little questionable these days. Still doing well and everything, but uh, with COVID and whatnot, it's been a reduction in salaries, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Pretty common. Um, but, yeah, just more of the same that a lot of people have experienced in the world. Um, yeah, other than that, though, pretty good. So, but equally, at least with mine, it has given me the opportunity to kind of, I want to flex my muscle. Hey, you know, we got the streaming, we got the YouTube channel, we got all that stuff. Let's, let's just jump into that a little bit further, right? Okay, so this, with this, should give us an apple sapling. Good. Now, I want this guy. I think we might just switch straight up. I have not. It's on my list as well that I want to explore is uh, Eco. I'm a little uh, concerned about the complexity of the game, though. Okay, we got all that. Got all that. That's good. Um, let's just get a little bit of bone meal here to grow that tree so we can get more apples. Uh, for eco? I've heard really good things. I've watched other people play it. Okay. 29,000 EMC. Nice. Yeah, you need... That's the thing with Eco. You almost need, like, a group, right? I think you do, right? Definitely helps. Okay. All right. Where are we at? What are we doing? Where are we at and what are we doing? I'm just going to put those away. I'm going to put that in there as well. Even though those aren't, like, oh, my God, you're going to lose them items. We're just going to put them in there for now. Um, We need apples. That's it. This... We need 14 of that. And we need apples. Two apples. Let's just do a little bit more of this. That's fine. Might as well. Might as well. Yeah, yeah. One apple two apples. That's technically all we need at this point in time. We'll leave that tree to kind of just grow on its own devices as we move forward here. Uh, but this, with this, will give us more of the apples of restoration, 
which will allow us to get the additional shady gardens with the coagulated plant balls. So I have windy and shaded. So now we can get two other ones. So let's take a look. So we can do frost and soggy, maybe. So that's birch and that's spruce. Okay, uh, birch and spruce. Bruce. Okay, there we go. Nice. No, not at this point in time. Anyways. And do that'll that. That with that. We got that with that. We need fuel. There we go. We'll throw that in here. We'll throw those in there. Let's go birch. And then we'll do spruce. And then we can duplicate those and get all that going. I have to say, after that initial period yesterday and getting over that hump, the pack's been better than it was before. Okay, so there's a garden. Uh, we will need to get the other two for the quest, but we can deal with that a little bit later on. When we get more apples and such. And beef. Alright. Frost and soggy gardens. Uh, you know what? Let's get a little bit more of the plant balls. Okay, apparently that's not good. I have no sticks. Why do I have no sticks? Always have sticks. Why, why no sticks? Yeah. That's... You know, it's funny. There's... The early game's a little too slow. I can flat out say that. It's too slow. Uh, probably needs to be fixed. But, I think it's kind of wrong to rush to automation. I haven't watched Dyer play it. Um, but I do feel like it's a little wrong to kind of just rush to um, you know what I'm just gonna break these seems like mostly you get four which is good mm-hmm Okay, rutabaga, quinoa, we'll do one more. Ooh, that's five. It's the first time I've gotten five. Are we getting anything else? No, okay. So then we go shift, boom. That one we're keeping forever. Very good. Then we do the same thing with the soggy. Boom. We might need to go drop some loot here. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit of both. There's a lot of complexity behind the thought process of it, in my opinion. It's just... The biggest thing for me is the flow, right? Nothing worse than having to wait around. As soon as you have to sit around and wait for like a crop to grow or, you know, things like that, that's when you kind of got to go, hmm, is this in the best interest of the player base? And the other thing too, that we always have to consider when designing a pack, and I know like Dark Costo considers this big time. I know, you know, T Fox at the time considered it a lot is you lose the majority of your player base 
in the first, um, in the first, like, hour of a pack. So if you have a slowdown period at the, in the early portion of the pack, your likelihood of people quitting the pack is going to be that much greater. I'm going to try one more just to be sure that we got everything. Mm, we did get another one there. Let's try one more. I think that's all of it. Or close enough. Okay, we'll put that guy away, that garden. Obviously, we already have cotton. Oh, we did get seaweed. Ooh, nice. Okay. Seaweed's good. Seaweed is good. Um, okay, let's see. What do we have? What did we get for stuff? A uh, friend suggested that soybeans might be from... Uh, okay. From soggy. I don't think I've gotten those yet. Beans are pretty nice. Chili, I think chili is a good one, if I remember correctly. Because you can also do bean stew. Baked beans is protein vegetable. Um, beans and rice is grain protein vegetable. That one's pretty easy. Pork, beans, chilies, rice. That's not bad. Chili is protein vegetable. That's an easy one for us to do. Does require a meat, which is a little annoying. But you can make flour out of it as well. What should I plant, guys? What should I plant? Honestly, I need dairy. Yeah, I need soy. Don't think I have soy in here, though. I do not have soybeans. Period. So I need to get soy. I think that's one of the main ones. Soy and beans would be pretty good. I mean, we'll plant all of this eventually, right? But. Hmm. That's one that I typically forget about. Uh, I haven't looked, to be honest. Nope. It does not tell you. A jute. What is a jute? Jute is another form of string. So we have jute and flax that are both sources of string. Interesting. Uh, spice leaf is good as well. Very easy to kind of advance your veggie strips. There's a lot of recipes that require spice leaf. So that's a good one. I also didn't get eggplant, I don't think. I don't think I got an eggplant either. So wherever an eggplant's from. Yeah, we didn't get eggplant or soy. Tropical garden? Really? 
Well, we gotta wait for apples to grow for the next one. Of course, it's the one we didn't do. Of course, it's that one. But yeah, so we gotta do like tropical. We gotta, we gotta, we still have other ones that we have to break. So, but uh, we'll we'll explore that as we go here. Um, how we doing? How we doing? Our farms are working quite nicely. Our candleberry's full. This guy's full. Again, not the most efficient pumpkin melon farm, I'm aware. But, you know what? It'll work for now. Pineapples, coffee. Okay, pineapples and coffee. Canola seeds. Good. Lotus seeds. All right, beautiful. That is what it is. Yeah, that's what I've heard, so. I mean, it's experience, so. Experience is always handy. Alright, I think... I'm just going to expand and plant uh, things like beans and, and some other stuff in here. Like, beans are good. I know that. Um, we can plant those guys down. What else is good here? Like, say I wanted to make burgers. You know, just as an example. Right? The deluxe is the big one, if I'm not mistaken. Or gourmet burger is the big one, I guess. Which is the... Dairy green. Yeah. Gourmet pork burger, I think, is the good one. If I remember correctly. Or venison. Pork or venison is good. Brioche bun. Fried onion. Yeah. Okay. That's not bad. Fried onion. Cooking oil. Which is just any seed. Lettuce, tomato, easy. Avocado is a tree. <laughs> Did you actually make bacon pancakes for dinner? That's funny. That's pretty funny. Um, you know what? Let's plant an onion. We have it. Let's go plant it. Um, might as well. Good. I would think that they would be good. They'd probably be rich, though, wouldn't they? Uh, do we need any of the rest of this? It's debatable. Peanuts are kind of nice. Bell peppers are good. You can do stuffed peppers. It's pretty cost-effective. Right? Ooh, fajita. Stuffed pepper's pretty effective. I think I'm gonna plant the peppers. We did not. I think they're a tropical one. We haven't done tropical. The market? I don't think that's a thing. Yeah. I think that's the market, right? Okay.
harvest up some stuff. Nice. We have so much stuff now. It's crazy. It's good. Are they more like a crepe, Barody? A little bit more like a crepe, probably. I think we're going to make crepes this week. Uh, like savory crepes, like ham and cheese. Uh, we were talking about doing like some, yeah, ham and cheese crepes or something like that. Maybe some like ham cheese artichokes. Maybe throw some sun-dried tomatoes in there. Homemade. Now oh, I'm getting hungry. It is my dinner break time, so it's not overly surprising that I'm getting hungry. All right. Cool. These farms are working awesome. Awesome. A little thicker than a crepe? Okay. Uh, even the magic stuff is like, here, do this magic stuff. Yeah, pretty much. Um, monologist and cardiologist could see what I'm having for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Just smack you, eh? Just, no, no, you should not be eating this. You bad, bad person, you. <laughs> Oh, that's good. A little thicker. Okay. Yep. Alright, let's just do this. We do need the beef, so that's good. I should probably find a food to use all this duck and, uh chicken with so I think my thought process here is we need to identify a use and foods for all of the yeah exactly fantastic exactly you can just have a nice like strawberry or blueberry crepe with a little compote after mm. Mm. so good or you go all out and you make a Nutella crepe with a chocolate drizzle. Oh, oh, my, my stomach just leapt. All right, I got a lot of turkey. I got a lot of turkey. I got a lot of chicken. What can we make with what we have out of this? So this bimbap, bimbap is pretty easy to make. It only gives you two, though. So, eh, debatable. Um, barbecue chicken pizza? No, too much of a pain. We do not have carrots yet. But you know what I mean, right? Like, even, like, you could do chocolate inside? Mm. Um, you can get a cow, yes. Uh, but it's Zen Summoning, which I haven't really looked into yet. Uh, chicken chow main. I do not have carrots. And it's not fluctuating through there, so... Yeah. Not a thing. Cashew chicken. I don't think I got cashews. That's a really easy one, though. That's a pretty easy one. Yeah, that would be good. That would be good. I don't think I got a cashew. Did I? No cashew. Okay. Okay. All right. So no cashew. Um, not yet, anyways. I'm guessing that's in the tropical or whatever. Uh, chicken cart on blue. Again, it's good, but eh. Ooh. This is four. But that requires yogurt. Which requires milk or like soy milk. Chicken gumbo. Oh, I love me some gumbo. Onion, bell pepper, spice leaf. Celery, okra. We could probably actually make that. Paella. Oh, I love a paella. Uh, chicken noodle soup. How do you only get grain from chicken noodle soup? Uh, chicken katsu. Rice. That's really easy. 
So that's really easy, but it's only two and a half. Dim sum. Probably delicious. That's a lot of food. That's a lot of hunger. Chicken mayo bread. Chicken pot pie. That'd be nice if I had carrots. General sows. 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 Garlic chicken. That one's really easy. Protein vegetable three and a half. That one's pretty easy. Cooking oil is literally just seeds. Okay, garlic chicken's good. There is cooking for blockheads in here, but yes, that would drive me crazy too. Um, I just can't make a lot of it yet. Ooh, jambalaya. Love me a good jambalaya. So tasty. Uh, can't do ginger chicken. Garlic chicken, though, is good. Garlic chicken, good. Meaty stew is good. We already knew that one. Can't do lemon. Can't do kung pao. Can't do orange. Meaty stir fry. Ooh, meaty stir fry. Oh, carrot. Why is it always carrots with chicken? Okay, you can make sausage. Makes sense. I don't have mustard, though. Sweet and sour chicken. Stuffed chili peppers. Ooh, those would be good in real life. Tomato herb chicken. Oh, that's not very good. Okay. Teriyaki chicken. Delicious, but not that good. Vindaloo. I do not have curry powder or black pepper. Okay, so let's do... What was it? Garlic chicken? Garlic chicken seemed pretty good. Right? So it was just seeds. Dude, I love that Herman Miller. That Herman Miller. Uh, that thing's ridiculous. I want it. I want... I want that Herman Miller lunch <laughs> tech, but... Oh. Oh, oh, that's expensive. All right, I think I can use just regular old seeds for this. All right, so garlic chicken. Boom, garlic chicken, it's a meal. It gets us three and a half. It's a protein and a vegetable. It's not too bad. We need cooking oil, which is juicer with seeds, and we need bakeware. Okay, I do not believe I have bakeware yet. Okay, juicer with seeds. Cooking oil. Nice. Okay, 64. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, so there's our cooking oil, our garlic, and whatnot. What's up, Beth? How's it going? Hope work was tolerable today. I'm getting hungry. Streaming makes you hungry. I'm sure us talking about food has done nothing but make me hungry as well. Thanks, chat. Thanks, chat. All right. Garlic chicken. Boom. Good. 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 All right, nice. About to do Horde Night 42 or 442. I was gonna be like, I don't think 442 is a division of seven. Uh, let me just you know, get out the old uh, calculator here. Give me one second. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, 42 is fun. 42 is good fun. Uh, what can I do with turkey? Meat stew. That's easy. Bib and bap. It's pretty easy. It does require egg, though. Bib and bap. Bib and bap. Ground turkey? All the same stuff. 
Dude, I'd love to have some bibimbap right now. Oh, that'd be so good. Okay. Uh, put you away. Um, why, why am I so full? We'll do you away. Put you in there, I guess. So hungry now. Dude, tell me about it. Tell me about it. Nice. Apples. All right. Apples are good. I like apples. We need to make the elixirs of blah, blah, blah in here with the glass thingy, my doohickeys. So we need more glass in the kilns. In the kilns with the glasses. I'm kind of debating making this a thing. Yeah, we're doing it. Yep, we're doing it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pasta for lunch. Nice. I made like ramen with veggies. It was tasty. That'll be enough anyways. Talking about food reminds me of a question today. What, for, what should you cook for lunch? Ooh, that's a tough question. It's a tough question. I had ramen with veggies. I didn't do the egg though, because I was lazy. And I had some strawberries with it. That's what I had for lunch today. All right, I want to get these guys up. A purdy base. I don't make purdy things. No purdy things here. All right, boom, more glass bottles. Okay, you up there, you and you, and you. Do your thing. That's good. And then we're going to need more of you as well. Which means... All of you. It's good. All right. Good. Elixir of instant health. Excellent. That'll go with our apples. And then the covalence dust, which we will be able to do from here. Sorry, but you should not be able to walk on a kiln. Just saying. Let's do that many. Let's do this many. Let's do uh, covalence. Like so. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's grab these. Very nice. Okay, that gives us those, which is good. And now we need the tropical and the other garden, right? Uh, oh, does it? If you put it in the saw? Maybe. Jungle and acacia. Okay. I think I need more. Okay, acacia, jungle, 
like so. And then I think I need more glass as well. Very good. Okay. Yeah, I need a little bit more glass. Let's try it. No, it only gives you two. Only gives you two. I guess it saves the tool though. Yeah. Stupid glass recipe. Rawr! Rage! At least you get the experience. Clicking too quick. Alright. Good. Boom. Boom. That glass recipe is such a Greg Techie thing to do, though. Alright. Boom. And... Come here. Come here. I think we're having pasta for dinner, actually. I think we're doing... So, here's a fun thing, uh, Ephilus. I know you love some unique um, potential things. A recipe that we found for pasta that is a little bit out of the norm for all of you here is we made enchiladas the one night, all right? Enchiladas are delicious. Everybody loves an enchilada. Well, not everybody. But either way, you make enchiladas, right? What do you do with the leftover enchilada sauce? You make a nice penne or, you know, a nice pasta. You put the enchilada, 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 sorry, not enchilada, sorry. Anyways, you put the enchilada sauce on the pasta and then we did some spicy andouille sausage. We did like ground up andouille or like chorizo with the enchilada sauce. And you could throw in, like, some sun-dried tomatoes, pasta. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Just saying. Just saying. If you weren't hungry before... And I got a pretty good sausage guy, actually, which is good. That we found. I like his andouille and his chorizo anyways. Andou, anjou, andouille. I don't know how to say that one, but it's fine. I'm Canadian, I can say it however I want. I can say it however I want. Isn't, doesn't that, isn't it good? It's so good, dude. I highly recommend. It's a great use of like the leftover enchilada sauce though too, right? Especially if you don't have enough for like another whole, you know, like, enchilada, you know what I mean? Like, you don't quite have enough. It's good, but it was, it, the, the andouille, anjou, on whatever sausage. Oh, man, this one that he has is so hot. Yeah, it's like a fusion. Yeah. It's absolutely a fusion. A good fusion. Pineapple. But yeah, that's what we're having tonight. Eggplant. Okay, we got eggplant. We got taro, pineapple, coffee beans, cantaloupe, kiwi, grape, ginger. Okay. Let's see if we can't... Uh, soybeans. Nice. There we go. There we go. And curry. Beautiful. Alright, one more. Make sure we didn't uh, miss any here. It's looking pretty promising that we have everything. Let's break that guy. Let's go put him away. I'm sure that it's not as easy as I've made it 
out to be. Almost guarantee it, actually. Oh, you can do it in the work table, but it requires a bowl, which is a little annoying. Like, bowls require knife, but then the silken tofu you can make into firm. But can you not make the milk then? How do you make the soy milk? You can't get soy milk until you have a centrifuge. <laughs> what do you mean ordered enchilada sauce? You make enchilada sauce. All right, arid garden, I think needs to be grown on sand. Makes it useless, not useless. Firm tofu. The silken is still good, isn't it? Isn't it still good? Silken tofu? You can make, like... Can't you make yogurt? You can make cakes. Oh, dude. One of my favorite desserts right there. Baked Alaska. Can you make yogurt with it? Or is that the milk? Yeah, it's pretty much useless. <laughs> Eggnog. Custard. Yeah, it's pretty much useless. Peaches and cream oatmeal. Yeah, it's pretty much useless. It's pretty much useless. But that's fine. It happens. Okay, uh, we're just going to do a little bit of this. This one might not be as fruitful. It is an arid um, garden, after all. It is giving us cactus, though, which is nice. Cactus, agave, no clue what a sisal is. Lentils, cactus fruit. I think that's really about it. Did it give us chickpeas as well? By the way, I made roasted chickpeas last night. Oh my god, what a terrible experience that was. What a terrible experience that was. Um, you basically have to skin them. And like all of them. <laughs> it's not an easy thing. To say the least. Um... So, yeah, anyways, just one of those things. It was used for, oh, it's probably more cloth, more string, okay. There's so many items that give string. It's nice, but why are there so many duplicates? You know what I mean? Oh. Anyways, okay. We'll just put all that there. That's fine. Good enough. All right. Cool. Okay. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's get rid of this. We could go ham on the farming now. Could have used my iron chest upgrade. I want to use my iron. No, I'm saving that for later. Yeah. Dude. That's such a 116 thing. <sighs> Can I just get this pack in 116? You're going to go zombify your villagers now? Nice, fantastic. I got to do that in my vanilla. But the base, I got to work on that more anyways first. I think... How do you get dairy? <laughs> How do you get dairy early on? Like, I mean, we can make a cake. Cake will give us dairy. It just doesn't give us much. 
you literally have to spawn in a cow, I think. There's no other way to get it. I don't think there's any other way to do it. Yeah, those will require buttered. Yeah. Summon a cow, I guess, yeah. Tofu, okay. So tofu would get me dairy. Yeah, I guess I could make, like, the silken tofu, right? You make ice cream, basically. Ice cream can give me dairy. That's fine, I guess. We can do that. That's not that bad. Then... So, it still has a use then. It didn't seem so bad. Yeah, I just, I haven't even looked into it, to be honest. I kind of jumped on and I'm like, let's farm, let's build kilns, let's do this, let's do that. You know, so, all that kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah, so that'll handle that. That'll be good. Um... Okay. It's pretty straightforward. It's pretty straightforward. I like it. I like our farms. They've come a long way. We have honeycombs coming out of everywhere. Um, we can upgrade these to honey and whatnot in the near future. Apparently onion takes forever to grow. Nice. We already got peppers. Uh, beans are growing. I might just plant the soybeans because that might be our only source of dairy for right now. Uh, period. So I think I'll plant those kind of in the middle here. We don't need a ton of them or anything, but it'll at least be beneficial. Because, yeah, we're going to need some of that dairy. And then, yeah, I need carrots. Where do you get carrots from in this game? Where do I get a carrot? That should be from, like, a Windy, shouldn't it? How do I get a carrot? Was I just unlucky to not get one from one of my gardens? Maybe. Um, yeah. I think tortillas. Isn't tortilla a good thing, too, in this? Cornmeal into a tortilla. Tortillas can be made into chips, tacos. Is it only beef tacos? Oh, that's lame. Cheese, though, right? Like, like cheese. Milk. 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 Yeah, I mean, obviously I can get it from a zombie, too, but... Anyways, I think that's going to be it for right now. i got to go take a dinner break. The food is smelling good. Um, so I'm going to go for a break. Uh, dinner break, basically. I'll be back in a little over an hour. Hour to an hour and a half, give or take. And we'll be back with probably seven days to die. I'm going to go kill some zombies. I got a machete build going where I just like chop, 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 chop. Right all off all their heads. It's good fun. Um, we just unlocked tier 5s in that one, so the questing game will be on point. If you haven't already, hit that follow. Wherever it is. Up there, maybe? Somewhere? Smack that guy. And uh, look forward to seeing you all again. There will be no afternoon stream tomorrow. I do have to work all day at the office, but uh, we'll be back Friday afternoon. And, uh, and uh, go from there. Yeah, if, why don't I message you after dinner? Um, I think dinner's done, done. So, I gotta go. It's below my right hand. This is my right hand. Or is it my left hand? Is it down there? I don't know. Yeah, let me go eat, and then I'll, uh, I'll message you on Discord. Yeah. So, yeah. Follow. Twitch Prime. All that fun stuff. I'll be back in an hour to an hour and a half.
See you, folks.